Look at I'm looking at 68 times the Kardashians oh post. My God. I didn't realize how like incredibly hot she was. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Ryan's just looking at <laughs> nudes on his phone in the bathroom right now, which okay, Kyle feels here. a little weird. Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> this is also being recorded and it will go into the pot. Hey there, bud. Just watching hey a there. lot of porn. How's uh how's our audio sounding? Uh it sounds good from my end. How does my sound mine sound? Pretty bad. Well <laughs> well, Ryan has shitty speakers. Yeah. I think your audio is fine. Usually I wear okay. headphones, but we can put do you want to share your headphones? Yeah, let's do okay, that. Fine. Hold on. Here you we're can... gonna do the middle school bus ride thing where you <laughs> share a pair of <laughs> headphones. Yeah, where you uh show a girl you like the song Don't Matter by Acon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> yeah. Who hasn't been there? <laughs> Anyway, uh, Natalie all morning has been picking skin off of her. I have not off of her body. She's doing. She's literally doing it right now. I'm not now. picking it. I'm just as looking. She, as she said, I am not. I'm she's, not picking. I'm smoothing down the flap of skin that's hanging <laughs> off of my hand from where I face planted on the sidewalk last yeah. night. Okay, I was wondering why your skin was falling off. Yeah, it was from when I absolutely ate shit directly in front of a police officer. Did <laughs> you yeah. fall? I tripped over one of those like construction signs that has legs that go out for miles. I just yeah, I well, went it, straight it, down. It was ex- an extremely conspicuous uh, yeah. thing in the middle <laughs> of the sidewalk. And she tripped over a sandbag or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Happens to the best of us. Well, <laughs> that fall it, it does not happen to the best of us. It was pretty extreme. Well, it happened to me. It was pretty startling because when you're <laughs> drunk in front of a police officer, you're already really paranoid. And then you just hear like a catastrophic fall <laughs> behind you. Yeah. <laughs> the phone scattered across the <laughs> sidewalk. At least you guys didn't get shot. Yeah. Natalie also, <laughs> even if we told you this, but the entire time, like she was just openly drunk at the bar and and, uh, and and she was like closing her eyes and like putting her head down on the bar I'm like, do you like, understand how predatory i look right now yeah. <laughs> yeah you look trashed out of your mind like falling asleep people are gonna think i roofied you <laughs> Yeah, you were also pretty outwardly sober. I was like, can you just please stop (laughs) before I get fucking hauled off in the paddy wagon? Yeah. (laughs) You you totally should have gotten him arrested. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I feel so sleepy. (laughs) And you know, Natalie, she never stops talking about how fucking sleepy she is. Yeah. 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 You got that late night McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. God, nothing better than fries drunk late at night. Yeah. They were so good. Yeah, it was like $30 for like <laughs> middles. Why? What? Because <laughs> door dashed it. Was, I door dashed it. Yeah. It was like a chicken sandwich, some nugs, and then fries. I was like, this is $30. <laughs> that just sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> we arrived home just as the McDonald's was getting there. Yeah. It was just waiting for us. It's like, here's your $30 bag of food, <laughs> of fast food. You could have just walked to McDonald's. <laughs> well, yeah, there was, there was one very close by, but yeah. I was like, nah. I don't know why we didn't do that. I think we were going to walk back to your apartment, which would have been like a 40-minute walk. Yeah, there was also a guy in, on heroin in the metro, and he was oh, doing yeah. that thing yeah. where he was like, like they bend in half and just sort of like you know their head is down at their feet i was pretty worried but then i googled methadone clinics in dc and all of them closed at like 8 p.m which seems like not very helpful yeah people (laughs) usually don't do heroin after eight yeah usually if you're Um, gonna od it's gonna be at like two in the afternoon right yeah during regular business hours (laughs) (laughs) did he make it i don't know Uh, 
He Probably just not. got off. The, I hope so. The metro. <laughs> he was still standing, so he was just like drooping a little bit. Yeah, he, he was, was a wilting. wilting flower. <laughs> yeah. He just wilted a little. I yeah. think he was fine. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, you know what? Listen, we got to address the elephant in the room, <laughs> what? which is that we did disappear for like a month. <laughs> Yeah, there was a good oh, yeah. month where we were going. Yeah, and there's not really a reason. We were just doing other shit, kind of. Yeah. That's a reason. We were all, you know, Ryan got COVID. Yeah, Ryan I became COVID, COVID Kyle. Yeah, I did get, I got Omicron. And it wasn't that bad. No need to vax up. Three vaxes and it yeah. didn't work. Well, yeah. worked for me. So I guess I just have a more powerful, strong girthy immune system than you that's pretty girthy <laughs> the robbing system. immune system yeah yeah, yeah. you're hung immune system wise <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely hanging immune system right now yeah you have a horse immune system <laughs> <laughs> yeah famously horses do have pretty strong immune systems do they it is true now <laughs> you just, you're <laughs> the horse girl yeah, usually when horses get sick, it's because, like, their bodies are falling apart. If they get, like, the flu, you have to shoot them in the head. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> From what I know of horses, you have to kill them if anything goes wrong. Usually what goes wrong is they break their legs or their intestines, just, like, tie themselves in a knot, and then yeah. they die from that. <laughs> but uh, oh, That would suck. Really? I've never heard of that before. Aren't yeah. intestines already in a knot? Well, they, they, it's not that they tie up in a knot. That was, that was a figure of speech. Or they get a stomach ache. They get fucked up. They get colic. And sometimes it causes them to die. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's talk about horse death a little bit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's examine yeah. this topic. For our first pod back, uh, <laughs> we've got some real bangers for you. Yeah. We're getting back to the macaque content. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this one is actually about my pussy yeah that's true it's about a female macaque well uh, anyway welcome welcome (laughs) to the pod this this is get off the air hungover actually yeah <laughs> well i'm all right i had a hash brown from wawa though that resurrected me yeah my wawa coffee really it's brought me god tier hash brown yeah i always feel worse when i eat when i'm hungover. that's unfortunate i had a fucking bacon egg and cheese croissant god that sounds <laughs> awful when you're hungover man are you kidding me that's perfect egg any kind of egg when i'm hungover like i don't like egg, egg. is just I would be fucking foie de grad with egg. <laughs> egg me. I can pour the yolk down my throat. Okay. Is well, that your kink getting like gooped with egg? Yeah. <laughs> Just... Yeah. On to our first story. Hey, nope. I did introduce the pod. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to know where to put the uh, intro music in. Well, you're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> It's just going to be at a right random here. spot like it always is. <laughs> <laughs> just cut That's the kind the of sentence. production quality our listeners Yeah, enjoy. if you if you ever listen to this uh, actual podcast, it, 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 editing it, you realize how poor the transitions are that we do. There's almost no transition. Fine. That's fine. We're yeah. not trying to be like fucking podcast leaders of you know, uh, quality yeah. for yourself yeah what they kind of come... elitist bullshit yeah that's true yeah. that's pretty elitist <laughs> yeah our listeners we're just listen salt because of, the of our earth. personality yeah yeah that's true we're like true americans you know yeah <laughs> we're joe the plumber <laughs> yeah well did you see uh the macaque one or third macaque you. our third macaque article about the first female macaque troop leader yeah named yake why don't you tell us about it bud yeah tell us about it yeah yake is the first lady alpha male 
Wow. Mm-hmm. Groundbreaking. So not an alpha male. Then. Yeah. Well, she is the, she's the alpha female. Yeah. Why'd you have to throw male in there? <laughs> yeah. Her role is out. Her role is alpha male. Yeah, that was a little bit misogynistic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He does hate women, uh, famously. Yeah. So Ryan is a lady <laughs> hater, as we know. Well, I won't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> Certain ladies. Only ladies wow. that face plan in front of cops. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Those ones I especially don't like. I thought you said you were working on not making me cry again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true i was yeah you know it's a it's a process you know it yeah. doesn't happen overnight that's that's fair You're so backsliding a little it's fine yeah k uh-huh. um she beat the alpha male in a fight and became the troop leader at the ripe old age of nine years old wow oh um, my god how old do they live to be um like 30 Okay. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't Google it. I am, I am about to Google <laughs> it. You just made that up. Off no, it's, it's about 30 years old. I would believe it. Yep. 20, 27. 27. These are Japanese maca- yeah. macaques. Yeah, yeah, sure. Do you know a lot about macaques? Yeah. Oh, like I know how- a lot about macaques. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> To be fair, we have had a story about macaques in about every other episode of this podcast. Yeah, there's th- this is the third one. But they keep popping up on in the, the New York Times. Yeah, the New York Times <laughs> has a thing for they macaques. They have a fucking macaque fetish. Yeah, yeah they um, have a, just one journalist that's really into <laughs> macaques. <laughs> yeah, they had to double team this um, article. This was written by two people. This and it's like oh two pages long. The article wants me. It says this article will make more sense if you read about the monkey love triangle. Yeah, that's included in the article. Okay, should um, we read the separate article about the monkey love triangle? Um, well, they have a paragraph here. Yeah, that it, it says that the macaques are polyamorous. Yeah, oh. I take issue with that statement. Oh. Why? Well, because I don't know if an animal can be polyamorous. Sure they can. Do they fuck uh, more than one person? Well, they're not. <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> think they have that kind of monkey. a concept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they are fuck fucking more than one humans. person. That would be <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. lions are polyandrous. Is that when women mean? fuck a lot of men? Um, I don't know. Uh, well, female lions have sex with a lot of male lions um, because the male lions will kill any cub that's not theirs. Um, and so if you just let a lot of males nut in you, <laughs> then they'll never know which cubs are theirs and which right. ones aren't. I'm sure that's how it works. So, yeah, they that's just get basically like what cults do. <laughs> Shit, Is that's it? true. Yeah. That's like the goal, right? Yeah. The way to know, know whose kids they are, and then you can well, completely dissociate the children. Right, right. Yeah. Trust me, I've thought a lot about this. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about how to I... establish yourself as the <laughs> leader of a cult. Yeah. All I have to do is nut inside of a lot of people. <laughs> That's not how you start it. You start with something else, and then you say... Yeah, you start it leader. with mysticism and religion and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. then you're, you're like, you're like, like... I'm going to fuck everybody's wife. Yeah, yeah, there's a fucking tablet that you says that I have that to in. fucking gangbang you. <laughs> you got to kind of wiggle in the nutting in everyone's wives <laughs> part of the cult. Yeah. You just kind of ease them into it. Yeah. It's that time, guys. We've made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, I was just as surprised as you when God told me that I had to <laughs> not inside all of you. I know it's a little stereotypical, but I swear mm, yeah. that's what he said. <laughs> look, this is what the tablet says that you can't see. You need the special glasses to read. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, I have really I'm... good. I can see the tablet, and you you can't. Yeah. That's basically just Mormonism. I mean. I think we just described it to a T, at least how it's well, that Yeah, that is actually Mormonism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. no, there's no. Clearly uh, was a cult that got out of hand. Yeah, it did get a little out of hand. 
took Utah. <laughs> for Christ's sake. They did conquer Utah. Yeah. That's so nice um, so that's essentially what's happening in this macaque colony, except the religious leader is Yake, a female macaque. Yeah. But and, and also none of the males will have sex with her. Yeah, but see, that would never Why? happen in a human cult. They don't like her because she's like a powerful woman. Yeah. But she's the powerful woman. Doesn't she just like demand it? Yeah, but yeah, but she can't really. Why? I I mean, I don't she's know. She's the I alpha. Feel... <laughs> <laughs> Is it a moral thing? Have sex with her. Yeah, she's morally opposed to <laughs> like hacks have a very complicated concept of consent yeah yeah but she finally uh <laughs> all of these monkeys have japanese names and then uh the one that she <laughs> finally managed to bang his name is just chris <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> the only, oh no name. no chris, actually chris wouldn't fuck her um maruo oh. ended up fucking her He's okay. the f- 15th ranked oh, male man. in the troop. That's just embarrassing. Damn. It's like Omega male. At that point, I think <laughs> she should have just gone celibate. He's he's one of the, he's like a nice guy monkey. It says the reserve <laughs> staff members say he's quite the catch. He's very calm and kind to baby monkeys. Oh, man. So she had to get a nice oh. guy. Oh. A nice I mean, she wanted a nice guy. Well, it's yeah. clearly she didn't because he was like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> he was just sitting there with these eyes. Yeah. He was like, I well, Maruo. here we are. Are these the monkeys that that uh, like to bathe in the hot tubs? Oh, this is um, the- I would just imagine coolest bucket. that would be all monkeys. Well, you know, there's <laughs> like specific monkeys that live in the cold, in the snow, but they go into thing. geothermal. By hot tub, do you mean like a spring? Yeah, I mean like a geothermal <laughs> pool. <laughs> Why'd you say hot tub? <laughs> That's a monkey's hot tub. Those famous wild hot tubs. <laughs> yeah, it's nature's hot tub. Yeah, right. Mother um, nature is giving you a scrub-a-dub-dub. Right. Yeah. I've been saying that for years. Hang out in a hot spring with some monkeys. They would yeah. probably molest you. Yeah, do you think <laughs> people do won. that? I'm pretty sure they hang out with monkeys. The monkeys would be doing some assault. Yeah. When Both sexual and non-sexual. Maruo stops putting out for Yake. She's gonna <laughs> yeah. switch to humans as a last resort. Yeah. And then you have a horny macaque on your hands. Yeah, horny alpha macaque. Yeah, alpha lady macaque. Who's been rejected one too many times. Yeah. She's a fem cell macaque. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Fem cell? Yeah. Really? I mean, sort of. They just don't like to shoot people. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just like kind of bitter. Yeah. Generally, they, they don't old actually crones. do violence. They bewitch things instead of like I, doing mass shootings. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. I think there's more validity to hating men than yeah. hating women so i mean that's true yeah. that's correct i mean look at ryan right yeah yeah <laughs> that's true look you at how, there. how <laughs> ryan was with an incredibly drunk girl at the bar last night <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <true>. <laughs> yeah yeah i was trying to get natalie's and en- energy levels up with subtlety but it got to the point where i had to just straight up say you need to stop looking so drunk right now <laughs> you need to stop looking this way before i get fucking arrested <laughs> maybe there's a tiktok of you circulate uh, circulating you know yeah yeah that's what i'm afraid of yeah, <laughs> panopticon society where everybody's watching everybody uh-huh. i'm gonna end up on the fucking news you probably are <laughs> i'm gonna be, be on the what news was the, what was the tiktok or the uh the big Jake circle Tapper about hardly know her yeah yeah wait yeah what was the guy's name west elm caleb yeah i'm gonna be west elm caleb except yeah. instead of casual dating they'll accuse me of being a <laughs> date rapist (laughs) that's much worse i would share that (laughs) that's much worse i would amplify that (laughs) i would lend credence to it (laughs) 
it's just a prank bro <laughs> ruin your life just yeah. like for a joke yeah it would yeah. be a pretty good joke if I, my life got ruined and <laughs> yeah. everyone thought i was a rapist right that'd be that'd be a classic <laughs> i would get you with that falsely accusing someone of rape that goes back to ancient times <laughs> yeah it's a great prank well they didn't care about rape <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah this is like uh yeah this guy raped me like okay <laughs> back then oh, so you're gonna fine. die <laughs> you were kind of, yeah okay yeah, well now okay, we're gonna obviously Estonia, kill so. you <laughs> thanks like, for letting us know you were getting conquested what did you think would happen <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah back when we were pillaging yeah yeah well we um, pillage again what happened to our pillaging um that's a good transition into the next story yeah that's true yeah. why aren't <laughs> men men anymore yeah. why have men stopped raping and pillaging yeah this and, and the answer the answer is they're not tanning their balls enough. yeah low t the article is called tucker carlson has a cure for declining virility it's um a company called juve j-o-o-v-v uh-huh. and the product they're selling is an infrared light that you put on your penis to stimulate sperm growth is it the penis or is it really the balls because sperm entire... comes from the balls Man, yeah the penis doesn't do anything it's just a yeah. tool. Well, the balls it's... <laughs> the penis is just the delivery mechanism mm-hmm. yeah the balls yeah you put the infrared light on the balls. Yeah. What you want to do is blast your testicles with radiation. Right. In order to kill off all of your sperm cells. Infrared is or higher energy. If I if I recall, yeah, infrared cool. is higher energy than visible light, correct? It's lower. Oh, it's, it's lower. Low red. So why are they using lower energy? It might be. What I mean, I'm trying to get to is why aren't they using like gamma rays? <laughs> what we're trying to say is why aren't they microwaving their penises? <laughs> yeah. That's the real key. If you could just microwave your dick. Yeah, clearly... what's the science? The science is. You guys are scientists. There's no science per well, se. Um, I could tell, tell you the, the science. science of if you were to microwave your penis. Yeah, you probably what get about to shooting infrared light at it's, your. It excites your the the sperms. Yeah, and it makes oh. them wiggle around, and um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and Sounds that like makes more of them. So yeah, it makes your balls warm. Yeah, Aren't trying to build testosterone though. What you want is warmer uh-huh. balls. Oh, yeah. It's, it's for testosterone, not for sperm. Yeah, that's true. They're intimately related, though. Right. He did say virility. Yeah, virility. But I think he just means that in the metaphorical, like, manliness sense and not actually in the, like, amount you can get people pregnant sense. Yeah. There's yeah. a an amount that you can get someone pregnant. Yeah. Your virility. Like a high amount of you can get someone pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you nut inside of them, mm. what's the chances that the sperm is going to conquer the egg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In an extremely manly Have way. Have you ever seen a sperm go into an egg before? <laughs> That's uh, conquering. It's yeah. Just like it's kind just like kind of wriggles. Wiggling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many of them. It's like a thousand arrows hitting a fucking <laughs> wall of a castle. <laughs> Just all of them fall away. And then finally one sticks in and it starts wiggling. What happens if multiple go in? You could get a super baby that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could have a baby with like twice the genes, <laughs> which I think is a good has thing. has way too many genes. <laughs> I think it's a good thing when you have double the genes. Yeah. I, I, I asked Alyssa and she... She does think that it's a good she thing. She does think, yeah. yeah. She thinks what? It's a good thing to have too many. Genes. Yeah. It can be bad genes. if you have like one extra chromosome, but if you have double yeah, the chromosome. Yeah, you have 46 <laughs> extra chromosomes. Yeah, if you get a complete extra set. Yeah. 
that can only make you more powerful i think it's just more it, like they would <laughs> it, it would all be unlocked. balanced still right yeah. yeah you can shoot fucking fire out of your palms your or eyes start yeah. glowing <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We been, maybe we should start investing in that technology rather than just like heating up your balls. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to double the genome, I think, <laughs> right? Yeah, I, can, I can't see how it would be difficult. I think scientists could do that. Yeah. So would you be like a quadruploid? What's the uh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. you would be a quadruploid. I'd be pre- I would love to be a quadruploid. <laughs> It's just all four of your legs break down. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I could quadruped. scurry around on four legs. What's, like a, in quadru- a, what's a quadrupoid? Well, it's like a haploid. Yeah. But Oh, right. oh I, see. I thought you were saying having all those genes <laughs> no. would give you four legs. It would probably do that too, but <laughs> I'm assuming like everything centaur. would be doubled. Yeah. Did we like talk about the haploid person. child on the pod? I don't think we did talk about. It. I think that was only a drunk, unrecorded conversation. <laughs> the haploid child. Yeah. Well, that's that's a conversation for another time. Yeah. But just know that we're working on a haploid child. Yeah, we'll get into it later. A child with only twenty three chromosomes. <laughs> Did you finish talking about this? Because I don't think (laughs) you did. I think so. The point is that um, uh, there's a new technology out to make you have more testosterone. And you just put your balls in infrared light. And that's how it's done. And there's also there was also a promotional video for this technology that was very homoerotic. Yeah, it was incredibly. It was very horny. Yeah, it involved some javelin throwing and Eat. chopping yeah. of trees and shirtless men wrestling yeah there was a lot of like slow motion rippling of muscles yeah <laughs> that definitely caught my eye yeah yeah it's it's enough to get anyone horned up yeah it's interesting because like that video must have been produced to appeal to people who are attracted to men because it's like it's all just sexy male bodies well they're they i think it's sort of reinterpreted as like th- in their minds, it's an attraction to masculinity, yeah. which is straight. Yeah. Which is straight. But in reality, it's just an attraction to men. Right. I just want to fuck a dude. Being yeah. hor- I think for them, it's like it's just being attracted to yourself. Oh, isn't yeah. gay. Being if it's other men idea. though. That you're yeah. just a beefcake. Right. Yeah. You know, hunts and, I'm kind it's of attracted beef. to that idea <laughs> of myself as a beefcake. Yeah. <laughs> you just <laughs> fantasize about yourself as like a, a wood chopping yeah. brawny man. Yeah, with a big full beard that isn't patchy. Your beard wasn't patchy. There were patches. Well, I'm talking we about become, a thick beard. Yeah. Like hyper masculine men, Ryan. Like we should like I'm already go all out. I don't think I could know. tolerate that. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to chop down a fucking tree. I have done that. With yeah, you. Kyle and I literally did cut down a tree with nothing but two butter knives. So <laughs> yeah. you, you you pulled a tree branch down. <laughs> no, we chopped down no. a small tree. Yeah, that was not a tree. It was a small no, tree. It was growing it was out like of the a ground. Little baby sapling. And we yeah. harvested it. You yeah. use butter knives to cut that thing? Yep. Yeah. I'm talking about like a redwood. That, uh, oh, uh, you probably shouldn't yeah. cut down. I want to fucking fell a redwood. <laughs> no, there's well. nothing more masculine than cutting down something that's sacred and wonderful yeah. just so <laughs> you can true. prove that you're a man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to destroy that like life tree from the movie Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. kind of go to disney go to animal kingdom and chop that thing down <laughs> yeah yeah so just a tree that's big and like important for somebody's spirituality and sure. religion right um or like the environment that's the only thing that'll scratch the itch yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'd like the need to destroy <laughs> the yeah. male need to destroy everything sacred it's true Pillaging that's, is part of our identity. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's in true. it's in our DNA to pillage. Yeah. 
sometimes I see like countries and I'm just like, I, I want to pillage right now. I can't explain it, but I want to pillage that country. Interesting. Walking yeah. down the street, you see a shop. You're like, I could fucking pillage. Yeah, the I, I, I kind of want shop. to pillage that yeah. shop. I could just take everything and burn it down. Yeah. Show all this the people is in. Quite a wobbly chair. Yeah, I know it's not safe at all. I it's... could probably fix it. No. Are you guys <laughs> no, on the, the same thing. chair? No, no, Natalie's on it. Uh, my bad chair. Yeah, Ryan gave me the <laughs> chair that will collapse at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah. So well, that's the chair you get. Yeah. What does it feel like to not want to pillage? Yeah, um, that's true. How does it, it feels feel? pretty. I'm at peace with myself, I think I would say. Yeah. You should that's never called be a a lack of drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do have a lack of drive. <laughs> Hard times make strong men. Hard times make hard dicks. Yeah, hard times make <laughs> hard men. Yeah, we've certainly had a lot of hard times, Ryan. Wow, yeah. yeah. E- easy times make limp men. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a Tucker Carlson monologue about limp dick men. I'm sure there's oh, a lot of penises aren't hard anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a new study came out that showing that <laughs> yeah. the penises of the American man are 30% less hard at full hardness <laughs> than they used to be. We simply can't. That is cut a measurable quantity. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> how hard. They just squeeze them with something and it counts how hard they are. Yeah. You can test how hard something is. It's like is. the thing they use to take your blood pressure, but yeah. it's stick size. Right. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would hurt. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> Just like, oh, 210 like over all... 160. <laughs> it's a hard like tip. Pop, pop the blood vessels in the top of your <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the blood vessels in your eyes just start popping. <laughs> just like, ah. <laughs> Just like press the stethoscope to the head of your dick. Why what would that be testing? Blood pressure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the stethoscope measures blood pressure. No, you you put the thing on and then they listen to whether the blood's going through. That's how they determine blood pressure. <laughs> Is the blood supposed to go through the dick or just into oh, it? Goes it? Through it. <laughs> Does it well, come out? It. It's a what circuit. It yeah. It down the goes pores. into the corpus spongiosum. Yeah, but then it goes ba- it's recycled back into your body. Yeah. Your dick yeah. blood is everywhere. like all blood. Yeah. <laughs> what are you asking? It's this just, is just how of blood. Are you like realizing how blood works? No, I just had a problem with the way you talked about it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yes, the it the blood does go back into your body yeah well thanks for clarifying it's not just like on standby (laughs) down by your dick all the time (laughs) it sounded like the blood was seeping out afterwards you you think you when you come like blood comes out or something maybe it's a very female centric way of viewing the world yeah do you think it's true that sperm counts have been declining in the western world probably uh i hope so (laughs) <laughs> we don't really need a lot more children you want yeah it's true the western male to just become sterile not sterile but no just like less just like less uh productive I mean, it would kind of be nice has never done anything for anyone ever really i uh, sure has it's built empires <laughs> it's just made us want to pillage <laughs> ever yeah. heard of genghis khan yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's he was like, pretty high. He really did a lot for <laughs> history. Yeah. Yeah. Wiped out a million people and raped <laughs> so many women. That is the male Allegedly. way. Yeah, yeah, that's true. He hasn't actually, he's not around to defend himself. <laughs> yeah, <that's> so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is kind of interesting that we have figures in history that are like, significantly worse than like adolf hitler <laughs> like just monsters don't really think of them that yeah. way yeah it's like yeah he was a badass <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. the biggest <laughs> empire ever <laughs> fucking sick yeah <laughs> 
It's like, no, he was like like a Hitler like figure. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is with like Julius Caesar, too. That dude <laughs> yeah. just fucking took out. <laughs> yeah, if it just if they succeed, it's just like, oh well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Fucking Roman Empire is a lot cooler than the Roman Republic. Democracy, schmemocracy is it's, what I say. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. <laughs> it is a little flawed. <laughs> I don't think it Democracy. was really thought through. Well, yeah, it, it for sure is pretty flawed. <laughs> yeah. 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 We shouldn't live in a democracy. Well, it's a pod <laughs> stance. I, I like have okay. living in a democracy, but I, <laughs> I could take it or leave it. You could throw a couple kings in there every once in a while. If we had a good dictator, things yeah. would be a lot better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we just got to get a good one. Yeah, that's, the, that's been the problem with dictators in the past. They get bad ones. Right. Just got to get a good one. <laughs> just choose better. Yeah. Just yeah, like fucking could... have a couple rounds of job interviews and. Yeah. This is actually sure. the main plot point of the new Fantastic Beast movie. Um. <laughs> really. Really. Yeah. Good to know. They have an animal choose who's basically going to be. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. The new leader of the wizards. Yeah. We could have an animal choose. Yeah, we could. I'd like it to be. I think I would want it to be. A porcupine. Mm -hmm. Like a spitting cobra. Like it spits, on spits on the person that it chooses. And then they die <laughs> before they become, <laughs> well, they, they, they become blinded. Maybe they that would spit be on the other person. And then it's like kind of badass. symbolic, yeah. like justice is blind. Yeah. But like the leader is blind. It would be cool if we had like a series of like it's gonna be great. We have yeah, like it. ritually blinded <laughs> dictators. Yeah. And they go around in robes and they also have to be bald. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why bald? Just for the vibes, you know. <laughs> Just for the vibes of it. The bald vibes. It would be they, a lot cooler. It would be cool, yeah. and they wouldn't have to like worry about taking care of their hair, which takes up a lot of time if you have long yeah. hair. Oh, Every did you day. guess? Maybe we just need one more. What? Go ahead. That set himself on fire. Yeah, he was died. environmental. Yeah. 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 That's so cool. I mean, that's just. Not really. I mean, I, nothing's going to happen. I ever. wish people wouldn't, yeah, but, but it is about the most badass is, thing you can do. Like, yeah, it's so self emulating is pretty cool. For it's cool. It, it's That's awesome. cool if you're a monk and you can, yeah. like, just be cool about it. Yeah, it but wouldn't most be cool people, if you were flailing. Yeah, it, most people <laughs> who are on fire are not Sweet. cool about it. Well, we it don't know if this guy's cool about they it. Get, they get cold feet at the last minute. I don't think they <laughs> said if this person was cool about it. Yeah, they should have said that. They should have said whether he was cool about it. Yeah, why didn't they paint a picture of how he reacted when his body started burning? God, what an awful way to die. Also, like, you get taken to the hospital with burns all over your body and you just, like, die from that. Not even in the moment. That would be a bad way to die. (laughs) That would suck a lot. Groundbreaking Do you think you would smell good, though? Like, eventually... (laughs) You, if you could still smell, smell yeah. it's a, no, you would smell. You would be burnt. I mean, yeah. if you like Burning put out the fire. Yeah, but do you think there'd good. be a period, like you know, a couple seconds in there where like you'd smell like you know really like good, good. meat? Yeah. Um, I will say. I mean, most of the delicious scent of meat comes from like the seasoning. So you would have to season. All, no, actually. some of the delicious. <laughs> a lot of the delicious it's scent seasoning. comes from the Maillard reaction of the fat and the heat. What the oh my fuck did God. you just say to me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> my yard reaction. <laughs> yeah. This fucking my yard out of my fucking apartment. <laughs> what I was going to tell you was when I had to have surgery to remove a possibly cancerous mark on my mm-hmm. back when I was a child. <sighs> Bringing the mood down. They, they um, <laughs> I had to cauterize it after like the they had to cauterize the ends of the blood vessels so it didn't bleed too much and Mm -hmm. so I got to smell my own flesh burning Mm. um you were awake for this yeah they just did local anesthetic and it smelled bad but it did also kind of smell like a hot dog oh oh okay yeah cut cut me off a little slab of (laughs) yeah 
<laughs> Just give me Can a I little, have a taste? little slice. <laughs> the good cut of myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd like to eat myself. Yeah, yeah, what would be the good cut? The thigh, um, maybe? Yeah, the yeah, thigh. The thigh would be tasty the for sure. would be the good cut. <laughs> um, probably the bicep would be another. Probably the cut. ass. <laughs> yeah, the ass. Yeah, the ass would be the good Although cut. you don't like want Like a it. lean ass. Someone who does squats. You don't want Adam's too apple. Like, strong <laughs> of a muscle. Adam's apple. That, that would Adam's be the apple. worst cut. It would be all like cartilage That would be like eating uh, a turkey gizzard. Oh, God. <laughs> Not the Adam's apple. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, <laughs> Eat the gizzard. Um, yeah. You, know, yeah, you want like a little. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it would be like, you know, those bouncy balls we played with as kids. Oh, yeah. No, it's like, yeah, like cartilage. Right. You've which been, is bouncy. Oh, so we all bitten into a bouncy ball. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I put 100%. them in my mouth all the time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it was irresistible. I know. I still know what one tastes you like. You can't be expected <laughs> not to do that. I can. I can recall that taste like, <laughs> like immediately, yeah. just instant recall. Just yeah. putting a bouncy ball in your mouth. <laughs> it's amazing. More kids don't choke to death. Yeah. It's amazing they're allowed to be sold. Right. That's a, that's uh, clearly a children. Yeah. yeah, they're clearly a choking hazard. Yeah, they really shouldn't sell anything They're perfectly throat size. Smaller than mouth size to children. Yeah. They're like they taste good. They're like designed to asphyxiate children. <laughs> yeah. I want to know what kind of bouncy balls you had. Mine tasted like plastic, basically. Yeah, but it tasted like a the texture was what was so good. It was yeah, the, the, texture. the texture was very just good. Like, oh, it was just smooth. Yeah. Just like suckle on it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. loved fucking eating bouncy balls. <laughs> you know what? You should get yourself a pack of bouncy balls. Yeah, I'm going to fucking it. Amazon. <laughs> They're going to, like, I don't show up to work for like three days. They just find me like dead Strung in my apartment. Out on bouncy balls. I was just, like fucking with a bouncy ball lodged in my throat. <laughs> Speaking of addictive substances, such Sucking as bouncy, on balls, bouncy balls, our next story today gargling is uh, a fascinating claim. It's, a not brave much, it's not claim. much of a story. It's more of just a quote. Yeah, it's just a funny <laughs> quote. Just one thing <laughs> there, that there's really not said. that much we have to say <laughs> about this, but I wanted to include it. Yeah, well, already about like 90 percent of this podcast has not been uh the actual stories well as it should be yeah yeah is... that's how it should be um i'm gonna start again okay go ahead and this time ryan's wait, wait, not wait, wait. i have something me. to say yeah. yeah subscribe on patreon you <laughs> can give them our drunken podcast <laughs> yeah that's true that is a Maybe that's gonna be don't... a reward yeah i don't think yeah. we have any uh patreon followers when we get um when we get to well, we 100 listeners, I mean, we'll release oh, yeah, our we're... drunken podcast. And by by no, none, no. I'll check. Late. No, I, we they would have money out of this, Natalie. We... But the money will Pay come $100 later. A have month to... well, what the hell? I thought by now I wouldn't podcast. have to have a job anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought yeah, it was that's the only like reason I started school. this. May I? May yeah, I? go ahead. Okay. Yes, yes. Sorry, I just needed to get a like, comment, and subscribe though. Yes, um, we need to monetize this thing. Bit give better. money to us, and we will okay. host any ads. I don't care what they're for. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if you're selling like fentanyl. Like, yeah, fentanyl. <laughs> I'll host ads for People. your fentanyl laced here. I know Organs. that Purdue yeah. Pharma has become a toxic brand, <laughs> but yeah. We'll, we'll host some of your ads. We'll get you back on your feet. We'll represent Michael. opioids. Yeah. Big opioid targeted towards rural West Virginians. Yeah, that's true. We do have a lot of yeah. like uh, listeners in like the opium dens of uh, America. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of them. Yeah, we do have a lot of opium. Well, uh, speaking of opium, <laughs> yeah, speaking <laughs> of addictive know. substances, speaking of addictive substances, New York Mayor Eric Adams, famous, just like nerd and shitty guy hmm. uh says that cheese is like heroin now you may be thinking 
Yeah, where do we go? That's the whole story. You may be thinking, <laughs> where do we go from here? That's just, that's just a, a metaphor that he's making or something. Right. No, he means it for real. Um, he says, food is like a drug. Oh, fuck. Are you okay? I keep getting heart palpitations. That's not good. From all the alcohol and McDonald's I had less. Yeah, and probably also the right. coffee. Your had. body is like that yeah, of my a frail bird. Shutting down, dude. Yeah, it is very frail. It's like the homeostasis bones. is incredibly unstable. Yeah, you're very dysregulated. What did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, continue, continue. You were spinning uh, the story. Food is like a fact, drug. The studies show the same level of brain that encourages you to use drugs also addicts you to food. It's the same level of brain. Yeah, the same level of brain. Famously, I get brain on a couple levels. Yeah, you know what I mean. like the fourth level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I got some fourth level brain just the other night. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Food is addictive. <laughs> That's the highest level, by the way. <laughs> you the might be wondering level. how many levels of brain are there. There's four. Wow. Uh, you take someone on heroin, put them in one room, and someone hooked on cheese, put them in another room, <laughs> and you take it away. I challenge you to tell me the person who's hooked on heroin and who's hooked on cheese. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I would guess the one who's foaming at the mouth and begging for <laughs> yeah, more the heroin. Who actually might die <laughs> the from the withdrawal? Yeah, the one that's like like asking for more heroin and offering yeah. to do anything to get it. That's true. That's probably the heroin addict. The one that's like relatively calm but maybe slightly agitated yeah the one who's a little hangry yeah and would like some cheese <laughs> that's, that's the one the cheese. maybe like when you have a bad day and you're just like you don't know why maybe it's just because you haven't eaten cheese in a while that yeah. could be. you just get a spoonful yeah. of cheese and get that <laughs> lighter like, oh. you just get the lighter underneath it you fucking yeah stick it in your that would be pretty good you could like melt the yeah. cheese for yourself <laughs> <You> just, <laughs> it would be like fondue but like in a bite size form just immediately fondue obstruct so your, your like one of your most your biggest arteries yeah and... hey mm-hmm. do you know what else yeah what this yeah. guy is a vegan, supposedly. Eric Adams. Oh, yeah. oh that's that, that explains it, actually. So I guess <laughs> oh, he's not sh- speaking from experience. He's just like other people are addicted well, to cheese, but not might me. have had cheese before he was a vegan. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it seems like he does also sometimes eat fish and other people say oh, that they've already. seen him eating chicken and beef. So oh, maybe not. He vegan. struggles to stop eating cheese. Like maybe that's yeah. his thing. Yeah, maybe That's why when it's so he hard gets, and he only eats meat when he's like anemic or something. Right. From it's being from vegan. Only eating fucking, fucking, fucking vegetables. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's like time to eat a burger and tell myself an impossible burger and tell myself it tastes just as good. Impossible burger is really good. They are shout out to good. Impossible Burger, our sponsor. Yeah. This episode. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the Impossible <laughs> Burger. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Fake Meat. And also by Purdue Pharma. Yeah. In partnership with Impossible Burger. (laughs) And of course, they put opioids in the burger to trick people (laughs) into thinking it's good. (laughs) And also the Walt Disney Corporation. Right. (laughs) Yeah. The next uh, story is about the Ohio man who only drank beer for a month. Oh yeah, for Lent. that's cool as shit. For Lent, he gave up everything. He gave up yeah, food. Right? For Lent. <laughs> yeah, like I don't think that's how Lent works. You don't yeah, that do is... something. You just give something. Yeah, you up. just give up something pretty well, easy. Yeah, you can <laughs> like do chocolate. something, but it's supposed to be like service. <laughs> that's what. Yeah. The... yeah, you're not supposed to just drink beer. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the thing about this article is that neither Ryan nor I have read it. Here we have. I read it. You did you not. Like, you couldn't even highlight it properly. Two, two pages long. Fine. The, the whole Tell us article. About it. Is, My God. <laughs> <laughs> the whole article is just that he drank beer for Lent. All right. Well, in an effort to lose weight. And he didn't eat. But food. did he drink did different work? kinds of beer to like give himself the right it, nutrients? It does like, not you know, say. Stout over here. Well, um, they probably all have pretty much just yeast in them. Yeah. 
I mean, it's Ohio, so there's a good chance it was just Bud Light. He lost 40 yeah. pounds and said he felt great in the process. 40 pounds? That. Yeah, he you lost can lose 40. 40 pounds by drinking just straight beer? Well, he was like 270 pounds when it started. Still, he probably only had a couple beers a day. Yeah, then that's only like 400 calories for an entire day. I don't know. I feel like that is probably like a key dieting thing. It's you just get really trashed. And then the, the time up. passes quicker mm-hmm. too. Right. Um, yeah. That's true. So, you know, you just drink straight vodka for a month and uh, it passes That'd in no time. It, it yeah. also, for me, it would help because I would be throwing up all of the time. <laughs> yeah. From all you that wouldn't have alcohol. anything to throw up. Just fine. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> usually vodka. how it works. Wow. What a great episode. I'm, I'm so glad we're back. I'm so, it feels good. We won't be here next yeah, week. Yeah. I've got to say already. <laughs> Still Why? not going to be consistent. I have a friend visiting from home. Okay, I you don't think can I do can it. do the week after. God damn it! Uh, because we're moving. Oh yeah. Um, well, I should be able to. We uh, can do a. Uh, we can okay. do a Ryan Natalie pod. Yeah. It's yeah. Fine. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <Yeah. laughs> they, really, it's actually no no bother yeah, you, at all. You kids have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. don't one of you? Why don't one of you try out a solo episode? I'm not. Are you kidding me? Just send me the audio. Also, I have to work all weekend next weekend. So I have to be at these fucking fairs trying to get people to join our study. Sounds uh, pretty lame. Oh, let me go. Let me just go to a brain fair. Um, God damn. I don't know. (laughs) I kind of wouldn't mind a brain fair. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Brain fair. Sounds like a Friday night. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll be on our trip in like four weeks. Yeah, that's true. Getting brain. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be getting brain on our friend yeah. trip. I might. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess we'll, that's we'll true. You never know. <laughs> and I can give you some brain. We'll... I'll toss a bone to you. <laughs> yeah. All right. You I'll do it. Little brain you pull my leg. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> like getting real erotic about it like making eye contact the whole time just like oh my god this is crazy and then <laughs> oh, oh. It's so weird hey, this is so weird why are we doing this starts gagging <laughs> <laughs> jesus <laughs> slobbering all over <laughs> i was oh, thinking god. about how unnatural blowjobs are yeah i was thinking about how like people say that like being gay is unnatural but also a blow like putting in the mouth is yeah. way more unnatural yeah There's it's fucking real weird teeth. <laughs> yeah. it's a gag reflex yeah. like your body is literally rejecting it yeah there's nature like gave us so many signs that we weren't supposed to do that <laughs> yeah. we we're like i think i'm gonna try yeah, it anyway let's put some choppers in here I think um, that could be good if by mistake a penis finds its way into the mouth hole yeah it should be rejected just by mistake the butthole doesn't do that no the butthole doesn't it accepts the penis with with grace i mean you have to kind of jimmy it a little bit for sure right but... you have to thumb it in <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some lube is required yeah. yeah wow anyway anyway uh hey you yeah. know what thanks for listening even though we just <laughs> for a month do it in the butt <laughs> yeah. yeah moral of the story try Try doing some anal. I did actually mess up my phone case last oh, night. I thought that <laughs> sentence is going to end. Yeah, I thought it was. Good. I did actually try it recently. Yeah, I did actually recently <laughs> have some great anal. Um. Uh, anyway. That's an oxymoron. Great anal. No, it's not. I think so. Oh, well, Ryan's anti-anal. Especially if you're a lady. Yeah, there is um, no G-spot. There's no G-spot. Mm, well... Yeah. We have the prostate. It's like a yeah. fucking. It's like yeah. a, a nice little thing that God gave us. Yeah, it's a nice bonus <laughs> on top of everything you already got. The male clitoris. God, the male clitoris is the penis. <laughs> yeah, but also the second male clitoris, <laughs> our buttholes. We have fucking two. <laughs> that, yeah, we have two clitorises. You know, uh... <laughs> One Clitori. Yeah. Clitorati. That would be pretty cool. To have <laughs> That sounds like an ancient Roman, like, fucking yeah, cult. 
<laughs> like a secret yeah. society. The glitterati. <laughs> A butt fucking secret society. Yeah. Secret society of butt fuckers. Well, I don't they think there's a secret in ancient Rome. Yeah, well, it was pretty yeah. open. Oh, how Greek they were. On a scale of one to Greek, how into <laughs> butt fucking are you? They were like half Greek. Yeah. They weren't as Greek as Athens. Right. But they were a little bit Greek. They, right. they st- I think they tried out the boy fucking thing and then they were like, no nah, this feels a little <laughs> weird i feel like we shouldn't <laughs> they got they didn't have the stomach for it yeah like the athenians <laughs> they didn't have a whole like philosophical system built around boy fucking yeah they just weren't used to it really yeah that was the problem yeah well hey you know what moral of the story <laughs> uh is um, is uh just just be a, be a good person yeah that's yeah. the moral of the story that is the moral yep and uh and have a good week and treat yourself to some cheese mm-hmm. but don't get yes. hooked on it yeah don't get yeah. hooked on it and uh you know we'll see you when we see you we're not yeah. not making any promises <laughs> we're gonna be like Someday. a gaslighting inconsistent middle school boyfriend who just sort of like, doesn't everyone loves texts. that person yeah <laughs> Do you have some trauma in your past you'd like to share? No. <laughs> Ryan was no, that middle not. school boyfriend to someone. Yeah. I was only that middle school boyfriend because I had a Go phone with <laughs> minutes on it. And I, it was for only for use in emergencies. Excuses, excuses. Yeah. And then my girlfriend told me she didn't want to be my girlfriend anymore because I never talked to her. It's yeah. like, oh, what do you want me to do? Go over my fucking minutes? <laughs> <laughs> bitch. You fucking bitch. <laughs> you thought a lot about this. Clearly yeah. the bitch. Yeah. <laughs> There's some resentment bubbling up. We should probably go before this gets bad. To be fair, up. I saw her face to face frequently and also didn't talk to her then. Yeah. That does seem to be a I pattern like, yeah, with you. How you would be now. Um, yeah well ryan yeah, was shit. just telling me about how he ignored his date at the bar we were at because not he wanted true. to I talk did not to ignore the her. bartender you li- that's literally <laughs> what you said no that's pers- you used the word ignore i don't think i said ignore you did are you in love with the bartender a little bit a little actually bit. and this is the second time that i met him and he's very I cool think, to talk to isn't there another bar where you love the bartender do you just like grow um, there was close a bar, to bartenders? There was a bar I went <laughs> to one you. time where they were playing a rendition of um, that Jackson 5 song, um, Once You Back. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it was like a very slow, beautiful version sung by a lady. And the bartender was like a cool tattooed chick. Mm-hmm. And I fell in love with her. Wow. Um, but I haven't gone back to that bar since. Oh, that's She's like love at first sight, fully yeah. described. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she had big old cans okay well, <laughs> all right anyway yeah it's, you know, big old cans that helped for sure that always does yeah always does take care <laughs> take care everybody. bye-bye we love you good society collapses then you're in hard times well hard iron sharpens iron as they say and those hard times inevitably produce men who are tough men who are resourceful men who are strong enough to survive and then they go on to re-establish order and so the cycle begins again
okay i'll talk to you soon all right, <laughs> all right. Uh, hey hey you know what else happy birthday to our boy kyle oh yeah he thank just, you he just turned it the big two six yesterday yeah looking older already yeah, yeah. i do look really old right now yeah you See look some like new wrinkles elderly gentleman yeah Thanks. an esteemed old bag now both of you are older than me so yeah well older and wiser yep